In this episode, I'm going to talk about deadheading knockout roses. I'm Laura, and this is Garden Sanity. And the question is, should you deadhead your knockout roses? And the answer is definitely yes. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do and why you want to do it. So there's two reasons you want to deadhead your knockout roses. One, you'll have many more blooms because the shrub is encouraged to just keep producing more and more blooms as you cut the old ones off. And two, it just looks way better. Anyone who has knockout roses is used to seeing this. Once the roses die, this is what you're left with. It's not so pretty. Here's what you get. Once you deadhead your knockout roses, you get new rose buds ready to bloom. It's so easy to do. So here's the section that needs to be deadheaded. I'm just moving over here. This is a section I already deadheaded, and it just looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, it's mostly green, but wouldn't you rather have a green shrub waiting for more blooms than this? Yuck. So here's what's left when you have a knockout rose that's done blooming. You see, each of these are just dead. Now, what you can do is you can leave these on the plant. If you leave these on the plant, eventually this green stem will turn to brown and it'll fall off on its own. But if you wait for that to happen, you're left with kind of a eh looking shrub. So what we want to do is just easily trim these. You grab this and make sure you use gloves grab this, use your pruners, clip it off, and throw it away. I use a little bucket that I throw everything in. And you just do that. Now, let's say that you want to trim these guys. See these guys? They're blooming, but they're kind of past their prime. You can do the same thing. Just grab these, clip. You don't have to worry about clipping far back to a certain leaf or anything like that. Just clip them and done. Here's an example back here, by the way, of one of these roses that died, and you can see it's already starting to turn a little brown, and the new growth is coming up. So that's a nice thing to see. So you don't have to deadhead these one by one. See how these two are almost attached? Feel free to just grab the two of them and snip. See these two? Grab the two and snip. It's as easy as that. Here's a green stem from a rose I deadheaded last week. You'll see on the side here is new growth already. You'll see over here, this reddish is new growth from a couple of weeks ago. So why I'm showing you this is because the new growth comes back real quickly after you deadhead each rose. So that's how you deadhead knockout roses. I had to come back out here a couple days after I filmed the previous segment because if you noticed in the earlier part of this video there was a rosebud that had a hole in it and I had to come out and look at it and look at this so some little wormy or something got in there and now look at these look at these holes oh and look at the little bug hello what you doing little bug I don't want to disturb them hi watch someone's gonna write in and tell me he's some poisonous thing. 